Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Calvin Lim Investing. And today, rather than talking about stocks, the usual finance, we're going to talk about how to get started with mining this new revolutionary crypto known as Chia Coin. Um, this, this, instead of, uh, this token is brand new, has came out in the last couple of months available for mining. And I'm just going to give you a quick start guide on how to get started with, uh, with mining Chia. Um, with Chia, you're not going to need a fancy high-end graphics card. Um, this blockchain is built to be energy efficient. Hint, Elon Musk, maybe you should think about considering using Chia instead of, instead of Bitcoin for, your, uh, for Tesla. Anyways, Chia, um, the main concept of Chia is about proof of time and space. It's similar to actual farming. So, uh, so what you're going to do is... You're going to have to build a lot of quote unquote plots to farm for Chia versus using high end graphics card to verify transactions. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through, show you how to get started and what you can do and get started with the, with uh, with mining your own Chia. With that being said, if you do enjoy this video and you would like to show a little support, um, definitely please smash the like and subscribe buttons. Um, in addition, I am mining Chia, but I am not an expert in crypto, so be sure to always do your own research uh, before you actually jump right in. Okay, so a couple of key things, but with that being said, let's uh, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to Chia.net and you're going to install this Chia blockchain. This is going to give you this little node that I have up here, and it's going to allow you to uh, to create your own chia wallet with your you know your 16 or 12 word phrase as well as be able to start creating plots so make sure to install this chia blockchain it's going to give you access to the chia node and as you can see chia is hovering right about almost 1200 dollars today um it's it had a peak of about almost 1400 recently and has a low of, of uh, about a thousand dollars in the last week or so so this is it's been trading at a pretty nice uh, or it's been trading at a nice premium at the moment so once you have your chia node installed it's gonna look a little like this you're gonna get it synced up to the chia blockchain um, this could take quite some time so definitely um, I would get this started up as soon as possible and leave it running. It takes about four to five hours to be fully synced. I left mine for eight hours before it fully synced. As you can tell, um, there's a ton of network space right now. This, these are exabytes, right? So it's about almost 6.6 .6 exabytes of, of, of network space in the Chia blockchain. What that means is everyone in the blockchain are gonna be creating plots. I'm, uh, I'm farming all these plots at the moment. I'm farming them not in parallel, but uh, but one after another because I do not have enough um, solid slate drive space to be part to be plotting in parallel. So um, my SSD doesn't have um, doesn't have a large enough space that allows me to plot in parallel at the moment. I am working to add a second um, SSD to my desktop. So. Once I get that settled, I should be able to plot at least two or three Chia plots at the same time. All right, so once you get these plotting um, completed, it's going to show like this. So this is one of my Chia plots. It's going to be actually farming, right? So you can check your farm. You, I have only one active plot, about 101 gigs of data, uh, or the size is about 101 gigs. And it, on a, it's going to take me about 42 years to win. Estimated time number. That means if I only had this one plot, it'll take me 42 years before I successfully mine a Chia. Because you're, you know, Chia is is more like a bingo game or a matching game where you're trying to match a pair of tiles. And um, we're going to have to try to match this plot, this key. Um with another challenge key or, or so forth so that's what it does so let's get down to um, a little bit of plotting so what you're gonna do is click add plot 
Um, usually you want to do one plot, the plot size. So what this means is that it's going to take, um, it's going to take 101 gigs of data, but you need temporary space of 240 gigs. So what you want to do is you want to always make sure you have a SSD um, with enough space to meet whatever's in the parentheses, right? You don't need to use any of these larger um, sizes. These, This is the most common one. It's a default. You should be fine with this. You don't really need to worry about scaling up. So you want to select your location, your folders. Um, your temporary should be always be an SSD because it is a lot faster. And then your final directory can be an HDD. Um, I'm using an external hard drive. I'm using the Western Digital um, version. Uh, I have the I have the Western Digital Elements um, version. I wasn't able to find the largest one, which were 18 terabytes. So I currently have a 10 terabyte one. I, I picked up one because I did plan on having an external hard drive for a lot of other um, resources, especially since I'm making content. I do like to move everything into an organized folder um, off of my desktop. So this did give me provide me an, a nice option that could be multifunctional, you know, so make sure you have that. Or if you can, you, you can start off with using one of the smaller external hard drives, like a Seagate one terabyte or some of the one or two terabyte ones. But I do recommend, you know, something larger um, with a more stable connection. So once you have that, you're going to create your plot and it's just going to take you to something that looks like this and you're going to be plotting, you know, it's, and there you go. You're on your first track to mining Chia. So once that happens, once you successfully get your Chia, it should show up in your wallet, in your balance, and then you can send, um, I believe you can send your Chia elsewhere. I haven't had any success in mining Chia because I, I just started, only have um, one plot. But um, once I do get Chia, I will be moving it, moving it out of this wallet, preferably to another wallet where A, I could either sell and convert it to USDT and take those profits or I can just house it there and hopefully be able to stake. So those are kind of the two options, but this is this is basically what you got to do to start mining Chia. So with that being said, I hope you enjoy this video. Please scroll down, smash the subscribe button, and also feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any suggestions on how you can improve your Chia mining or, uh, or really get started with this, this process, you know. Um, I will say there is a little bit of money to be made in Chia at the moment, but as the network grows in space, it's obviously going to be a lot more difficult to, to mine. So right now we're sort of in the, in the middle phase. Um, I think in like maybe three to five months, we're going to be in a large scale. Uh, we're going to, we're going to grow exponentially. And in three to five months, the reward is definitely going to be a lot lower and you might see a decline of, uh, of Chia miners. But right now, since it's hot, everybody wants to get in. It's I think it's a good opportunity to try to get in and get lucky. You know, if you can mine a couple of Chia coins and get lucky, that's definitely a really great place to start. So, all right, guys, see you next time.